I hate this woman so much, I remember the day they told me they were going to get married. I was in fifth grade, chilling at home. My dad calls me, he goes, hey, we're going to the Cheesecake Factory tonight. Now, if you come from my socioeconomic standing, he could have been like, we're about to meet the president, dog. <laughs> Put on your dancing shoes. We're going out for Tex-Mex spring rolls and spaghetti because their menu makes no fucking sense whatsoever. It's a hodgepodge of nonsense. So we get to the restaurant. Dinner comes to an end. Out of nowhere, my dad stops. He goes, hey, I know y'all don't like each other, but I love this woman, and I want to spend the rest of my life with her. So he put a ring on her finger, she put a ring on his finger, and then she put a plastic ring on my finger. Anyone here married their stepwife at a cheesecake factory before? Am I the only person who's ever done that? I start freaking out. I stole my mom's phone, start T9 texting my mom underneath the table, like, hey, just married my dad. In a weird throuple, SOS, 911, come and pick me up, TTYL. Blah, 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 blah. But I had a single mother, and if you're a single mother, you know a single mother, you know you can't just drop everything you're doing, go pick up a kid at some random fucking cheesecake factory, right? So mom was like, chill, I'll come pick you up later tonight. Dinner came to an end. My stepmom goes, hey, I got an idea. Why don't we go home and have a little bit of a pool party? I'm like, fantastic. You know, the honeymoon I always wanted. <laughs> now, I come from an above-ground pool family. So if you don't know what that is, it's a lot of PVC pipes, a tarp, chlorine, no water at all. It's just chlorine all the way to the top. It's floating tablets of chlorine. My dad, I guess a scientist, constantly checking the chlorine. So I get home, I'm swimming, eyes burning, hair getting lighter by the minute. Then my mom calls me, she goes, y'all, I'm out front and I'm gone. <laughs> Runaway bride, Julia Roberts, out the fucking building. But at this point in my life, my parents have been divorced a very long time. And if your parents are divorced a long time and they're both in your life, you can sometimes get a weird schedule. For instance, mine was Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday with my dad, Thursday, Friday with my mom, and on the weekends they switch. When you live like that as a kid, you live like a little hobo. You know what I mean? <laughs> you got like a little satchel, you put a pair of pants, underwear, can of beans, and you hit the road. Only problem is I woke up at my single mother's house on a school day, no hobo bindle, all I'm wearing are my swim trunks. My mom said, don't worry about it. Got a pair of unisex boots you can wear. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know if unisex boots are a real thing. She gave me a Chelsea boot with a two inch heel. <laughs> so now I'm standing in front of the mirror, shirtless with a wedding ring on. Swim trunks, Chelsea boot, two inch heel. I look like someone drunk playing The Sims for the first time, just no idea to dress my character, spend on a ring. And I go, mom, mom, please don't make me wear it when your blouse is at school. And then she goes, don't be crazy. This is a true story. And then she brought me out her leather duster. Do you guys know what a leather duster is? Anyone here knows it? If you know what a leather duster is, it's like a leather pea coat. Goes about half calf, large belt buckle. Yes. So now I'm standing in front of the mirror, shirtless in a leather duster, wedding ring on, swim trunks, Chelsea boot, two inch heel. I look like a rejected WWE character. It's like Hulk Hogan's childhood bride coming off the top rope. And I'm freaking out, because it's fifth grade, right? You don't ever want to wear this outfit, but you definitely don't want to wear it in fifth grade. <laughs> so I go, mom, 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 mom. What am I supposed to tell people that I'm wearing? And she just replied with, just tell them this is what they wear in France. I don't know if you guys know the number one reason to get beat up in fifth grade, but coming to school French one day felt like top five. Now I knew my outfit was fucked up because when I got to school, my mom dropped me off two blocks away. I'm like, okay. 
This on me. Hey, my mom's just a little French boy walking to school. Now, my only saving grace is my family were white trash, you know? We're always a little bit late. So first period's done, it's recess. And I remember before I stepped out to recess, I was like, fuck it. Own it, you know what I mean? This is the first time in my life. I was like, just own it. You know, hopefully no one notices the new lesbian private detective on the scene. <laughs> like, I'm looking for a lost pit bull in a Subaru. Maybe a wallet chain, a flannel. My name's Bethany, I'm a they, them. Get my pronouns accordingly. <laughs> so I walk out to recess. Right when I walk out, every boy I know in a grade below, my grade and a grade above is playing four square. Now everyone knows when you go, when you got this kind of fucked up outfit, you don't want to go hang out with a bunch of these guys, right? So then I see a bunch of little kids playing kickball. I go, okay. Go to the kickball game, hang out in the back. Hopefully no one notices me. Get back in the classroom, get out of here on the skate. I do not know if this was the greatest kickball team of all time. No one got out, it's my turn to kick. And my dad used to tell me a, a classic saying, classic American saying, you've probably heard it before. I think George Washington said it first. It goes, uh, don't play kickball in high heels. I think that was George Dubbs, the first. This is the first and last time I've ever worn high heels in my life. And if you've ever worn high heels, you might notice not a subtle shoe, right? It's kind of loud, audible. So I'm out at the end of the bench and I start clip-clopping it to home plate. <laughs> right when I get there, the pitcher goes, what's your pitch? You've ever played kickball where I'm from? One simple answer, slow baby bounces, okay? Guy okay, pitches the ball, put my foot down, twist my ankle, fall on my face. My friend Sam from the outfield goes, down goes Mrs. Doubtfire. I yell, this is what they wear in France. Yard dude had to pick me up, said he found Carmen San Diego. Not good year for old boy.